So like I said, they started fighting. They have to fight because they're the flesh. They're nothing but the flesh. Their pride, a uh, police just showed up. Their pride, their flesh, everything about them. The police just showed up. I heard them y'all hollering on the inside. There's the Every time she shows up, there's fights. Every time. Now, I called it. I just did that other video, and I said, so I noticed one, two, three, four, five cars. And I noticed that green car, which is the trouble. I told you, eventually, look, there's a, there's an ambulance, look at that, somebody might be getting arrested or not. I told you, I called it, the last video I called, look at that. So during all that time, somebody's laid out on the floor probably, and he had his music on his car. He didn't want to cut his music off because he, he thinks it's cool, you know. Somebody's in there dying or calling an ambulance, fire truck, and he's still trying to be cool. That one girl's pacing back and forth. She don't even know she's pacing back. She's going in circles back and forth, back and forth. AI program. They do it to themselves. I said about a year ago when I was doing video, I said, somebody's going to die. They're going to fight. Somebody's going to die. I, it's just a matter of time. And the fact that that green car was there, they pumped up that tire. So that flat tire represents the flesh. They pumped it up because I said, Wally Coyote, he tries to do right. So they pumped the tire up because a flat tire represents the flesh, right? And so they pumped the tire up, and sure enough, now they got an ambulance, they got fighting, they got hollering, they got screaming, they got trouble, two policemen in there, and two two or three fire ambulance guys. I wouldn't believe surprised if an ambulance didn't show up. They're lying to the officer.
See how the see how the color red is reflecting off that house. They need a lot of blood covering, right? They are their own worst enemy. She's still mad, still fighting, still moving arms. Her body language tells you she's demon possessed. Her body language proves she's demon possessed. Look at her. That one girl to the right of her is not saying anything, but she's walking around in circles. Or she can't. She's moving up and down, moving her arms. They're demon possessed. A demon has actually took them over. Look at her jumping up and down. It's Jerry Springer. It's Jerry Springer. I don't need a TV. There's the ambulance. See, told you. Jerry Springer. I don't need a TV to watch Jerry Springer. I got it right in front of in front of the house here. So that fire truck light is blinking, just blink, blink, blink. That ambulance light is blinking faster. Blink, blink. The one on the side is blinking really fast. Amazing. Somebody's gonna be arrested, I think. They'll usually arrest, like this is a new person. Anytime a new person comes into their little world, they draw them in and they actually cause them to get in trouble when they weren't the ones doing it. They always do that. There's a group of like four of them and anytime a new person comes in, they always try to fight and argue and provoke them and get that other person to, to take the blame for whatever they're doing. It's narcissism, psychopaths, sociopaths, um, flesh creatures, unsaved, goats, snakes and they think they're slick right he's spraying something on his outfit before i went in the house after i did that video i thought well, how do they even function and pay their bills see she got that house i thought she shouldn't even build her own house the way she is so she got that house inherited it from her grandparents right and she has all these people around that are paying her to live there but i was thinking that as i went in the house i come back out and if she's usually outside yelling but she must be the one that got laid out in the floor I'm curious to see who's going to get arrested, if anybody. There's the stretcher. Will they wake up? How many turns, how many turns or how many cycles will it take before they wake up? How long will it take? How long will it take, people? 
So her grand, her parents died, or the grandparents, they died recently, within six months. And usually the stability, when the stability dies in a person's world, everything else starts to break down. This guy that drives this red truck one time, he told the girl driving the green car, I think it's his sister or stepsister, he said, every time you come up, there's trouble. You always cause trouble. You always cause trouble. And every time she shows up, it's trouble. As the mother, so is the daughter in a flesh situation. The only way you're going to break the cycles, the bloodline cycles, is get saved, claim the blood, renew your mind. Let me put this on pause. So there's a policeman. Police represents the law. There's a fireman. It's a fire emergency and there's an ambulance you got the snake the fire represents it, you better emerge because hell is hot if you look at um if you look at a stairwell with the emergency sign or a emergency exit right x it it is information technology it follows it's an emergency that you emerge to x it it is the Cousin hit or the clown. I'm surprised nobody's been arrested yet. Must be the guy. The guy driving that red truck. So it is. So the ambulance represents the snake on the pole, right? So the storyline is this. Here's the storyline. The red versus green is Cain and Abel fighting. And notice they're back, those cars are back to back. He pumped the tire up, it's usually flat. He's the one that went to the ambulance. Now there's a new guy over here. They're spraying down their their boots and stuff. Weird. They sprayed their vest down, their boots, their That's bizarre all right. The two policemen are still standing there. The guy went to the ambulance. So the storyline is this, the fire truck, the fires of the flames of hell are telling you, you better get right. The Cain versus Abel is right here. The ambulance is the blood of his, the, the snake on the cross. That's the way of escape, right? And so the storyline is the same storyline, no matter who it is, where it is, where, what's going on. It's just types and shadows. And so, emergency medical service, med, 
is cycle routine medicine. You take medicine every eight hours, 12 hours, whatever. You follow a routine. So if they're not going to rest one of these people, evidently he did something and the other guy had to defend himself. Will they, will they, what, will this be enough? Will this red flag be enough to wake them up? Will they, will they eventually, finally run to Jesus? I don't think so. Because the way she's talking, she's still trying to justify herself. And the way that dude was playing his music, he didn't care. Now she finally comes out, the mother. She's yelling and acting crazy in front of the cops. The mother's over there crying. So her son was shot two years ago. He died. Her her mom and her dad died. That girl right there, every time she comes over, she calls us a fight. That guy's a drinker. It slowed down for a while, but every time she shows up, it starts again. So uses a she uses a that girl that drives that car that little girl uses a proxy to cause trouble. Jezebel is the root of it all.
He's asking for names. She said, she said, I want them both arrested. She's drunk. That guy's leaving that was playing his music for a while. Like it's probably about 55 and she's acting like that all the time. That's sad. <laughs> so they tried to get in my world. But I knew by the spirit of truth that they were demonic, that they were lost, that they were trouble by their body language, by their words, by the symbology. And so by keeping a boundary up, staying away from them, they're just destroying themselves. See, the Wally Cody has, some, has to blame somebody, has to chase somebody, has to always attack somebody else. But they're the one that's trouble. The reason her children are acting that way is because look at her. She's the ex the, she's the example that they only see because they're intertwined. This is why. This is why if you're raised around an unsafe family, you got to cut them off. Eventually, you you eventually will cut them off because they're they're always trouble. I had a situation a long time ago. Family member said, do you want to go in, me and such and such are buying this camper. Do you want to go in with us? I said, no. They said, why? Don't be unequal yoked together with unbelievers is why. I never yoked up with none of them. It's always trouble. The immortal does not yoke up with the temporal. These creatures are going to die and go to hell and burn. You're going to heaven. There's two different paths, and you cannot yoke up with them. And you might you might think, 
Well, their blood, their bloodline, natural blood, but there's a spiritual blood. There's a spiritual reality. There's a spiritual family. And you're more well, you're more one with your spiritual family than you are with your natural family, if you're saved. There's no peace, saith the Lord, to the wicked. They're always causing trouble. I wish I had a bullhorn right now. Let's shout that out. They're not making any sense. Trouble with a capital T. I think they're going to arrest her, somebody. So what's happened over the lifetime, they've created patterns to justify their behavior, to blame somebody else, to try to escape and lie and gaslight and create other people, trouble for other people that they get in trouble. They get some kind of weird, twisted enjoyment out of getting somebody else in trouble. And so it's obvious that this person on the porch is the center of the trouble and she got she inherited that house not because she worked for it to get it but somebody gave it to her and the people who worked for it to get it they were responsible and they were they were good citizens in the neighborhood but this one who inherited it she just acted crazy because she inherited it she had not she didn't have to work hard and function and take care of it and sacrifice to keep it because it was given to her. It's sad. It's sad. They're probably going to arrest him if he gets to feeling better.
you some food here in a second. Why would the police stick around? The only reason is, why is the ambulance still here? So they must be here and arrest that guy. It's a trip, I don't She's trying to figure out a way to come up with a plan so she can make amends to everybody when she's the one probably causing the trouble. These people are crazy. They all work the same. All the narcissists, all the psychopaths, all the sociopaths, all the unsaved, they all function the same at the root end. Once he painted our house, now he needs to go to jail. I want some, I want them both to go to jail. She said. There's no peace, saith the Lord, to the wicked. A month will go by, two months, and she'll do it again. They did calm down for a while with the COVID and stuff, but they'll do it again. If he's stupid enough to come back over here and live here, he's he's just he's gonna go through it again to the The very one I said, he was sitting there on the porch. She said, I don't help nobody. The one that's sitting on the porch said that out of her own mouth. I don't help anybody. So that tells me she's the center of the trouble. She's got all these people around her helping her, but she don't help nobody. Her parents were good people. How did they end up raising her? She don't help nobody. When she came over here, I said, do you read your Bible? She said, no. When my son...